Okay. <laughs> Stream is starting. Yeah, awesome. Glad to hear that. Can they hear us though? Can, I have can no idea. Everyone can hear us. Realized, probably shouldn't have been wearing capris with my hair <laughs> being this <next. laughs> <laughs> It wasn't a good look. <laughs> that being said, my name is ST. <laughs> this is a good look. I am your uh, GM for today. And today we are playing the Proving Grounds. He has a shirt to prove that he's the GM. Hey. It says Dungeon I'm Master's like Guide. guide. It does. I guide all mm -hmm. you Dungeon Masters. Yep. Here's what you don't do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guide under the so Dungeon Masters. Here's what you don't do. I can't Here's have. what I did last time. So, the party left Holmes Crossing. And headed north to Drakewood. They traveled for a little while, finally got control of their horses after just barely getting them and having to break them in. I think that was me. Um, I think I think I'm the only one who rolled bad on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You went taken off, I think. Um, <laughs> a ways down the road, um, they came into a curve in the road between the hills and the forest. Um, and they spotted up ahead some cyclopes, cyclops, cyclopes. No. Cyclopods. Cyclopods, there we go. <laughs> they had one eye and one leg, cyclopods. So. One um, eye, one leg, walking cyclopods. Waiting for an ambush on some unsuspecting travelers. Uh, the group decided that they would be um, the goodies and take them out before anyone else got hurt instead of going around them. Uh, this proved a much tougher task than the party at first thought. They were like, there's four of us, four of them. This will be easy, even though they're five times our size. It ended up being a hard-fought battle, uh, one that lasted quite a while. Um, and even though uh, the party ended up broken, battered, and bruised, they ended up victorious. Um, having their bloodlust unsatiated, they decided to follow the tracks of the Cyclops and followed them to the west through the hills um, for a good hour or two, I want to say, before 
um, dusk started to approach and they needed to bed down. And that's where we are today. Um, with the party bedding down as a storm starts to roll in over the hills. So, straight to bed, or do you guys want to do anything before bed? Oh, I do! I do! Right. Me! Yes! Um, You're in the back! <laughs> uh, I would like to call forth Archimedes. Okay. Yes, you remember. Finally. I know. Oh, nice. I didn't remember until he said, is there anything you want to do before bed? <laughs> yes, there is. And you sit down, perform the ritual. Archimedes appears on your shoulder, as cute as ever. So cute. I'm just going to, like, scritch his neck. What else are y'all doing? Mm-hmm. Um... We brought the horses with us, correct? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna go to my horse, um, like, grab my dagger, cut a little bit of its, like, hair off, just, like, one hair, and then I'm gonna ritual cast uh, Animal Friendship. And then, um, is the horse's intelligence? Intelligence of four or higher. <laughs> Wait, is it a war horse is, yeah. or just a horse? I think it is at least four. I'd be, I'll tell you. Uh, your war horse is going to be intelligence two. Ah, uh, shit. So if it it's a war horse. horse. <laughs> if it's a war horse. I don't think they're war horses. No, they'd be riding horses. Just a normal horse. I mean, it's it's fucking, uh, no, it's a two. It's a negative four. It's a negative. Uh, the ones well, we have. Well, never mind. The spell ends. Negative <laughs> yeah, four. Mean, no, not like I'm looking at riding. Two. Well, yeah. So, yeah, riding horse is the yeah. same thing. It's still intelligence two modifier negative yeah. four. Never mind. I don't do. Sorry. <laughs> unless, unless it's a uh, summon steed. <laughs> yeah, if yeah, it's a summon steed. They can right. be spoken to. Yeah. I would think that it'd be. Why does animal uh, friend? There's so many animals with less than four intelligence. Why is that even a precursor to? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. <laughs> How long does it take for you to do your um, ritual? To... One hour. Okay. Since he has one hour, I am going to resummon my dragon, and I am going to tell it. I'm going to look at it and I'm going to say. Welcome back. <laughs> um, I I want you to <laughs> scale around. And what am I looking for? Any sort of uh, any sword. Go. Any <laughs> any sort of problems that you think might be around. Oh, that's really vague. If there's more cyclopses. Cyclops. If there's any more cyclopes, cyclopods, cyclopods, cyclo- cy- any more Cyclopsies. one-eyed giants, like the ones that you saw earlier, um, armies, anything of the sort, and I'll just like start leggies. I'll just start like filling in the dragon's mind with like visions of like what it could be. Like he's looking for cyclopses. He's looking for like. Something we should be worried about, like a bunch of orcs or something. I shall see. As he says, a great dragon voice. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <living> for it. <laughs> and it starts gaining um, altitude, circling around as it climbs. Okay. Parkamine I guess since see. everyone's ritual casting he, stuff, I'm gonna. My dragon only lasts one hour, so. I'm doing this like at the beginning of the hour. Then once Archimedes is out, he lasts oh. for a long time, so I can like relay to you any information that okay. the dragon tells me. Sure. Um, does your dragon have a stat block? He does. Um, let me. Sorry, Will, we that. interrupted you. Yeah, we did. It is the. Um, <laughs> Let 
Draconic Spirit stat block. Oh. Okay. Check out the spell I learned when we leveled up. It gets to about uh, 60 feet in the air before it's like... In an hour, you will... You can go away. <laughs> <laughs> Mandatorily. <laughs> <laughs> Sigurd, you were saying? Um, if everyone else is summoned and stuff, I'll go ahead and uh, use Fine Steed to get a Loki here into the camp. Go ahead and uh, summon him. Right. And uh, as I summon him, I'll uh, take a moment to uh, no. brush his mane and stuff, and as I whisper to him and I go, uh, it's not what it seemed like, okay? I had those Cyclops on the rope. Okay, there was no issues here, Loki. I was fighting yeah. perfectly fine, okay? <laughs> Despite what anybody else tells you, okay? If you say so. Yes, I do say so. <laughs> I say, combing his hair, and I go, I need no sass from you, friend. <laughs> yeah. But it's also the training ground's a little harder, but... Wow. Yeah. Hey, hey now. <laughs> but that makes it like... Yeah, but, uh... But I'm sure you had them. Hell yeah. <laughs> waiting for waiting for them to beg for mercy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, right. And uh, after getting Loki prepped for uh, the morning's ride, uh, Sigurd's just gonna bed down to take a long rest. That's, okay. That's crazy. Sigurd is down. I mean, he has two hit points, but. All right, Sigurd. Good night. <laughs> good night. Good night. Night, Sigurd. Sigurd, we love you. Um, <laughs> Who's taking watch? I want to go to sleep too. Go to sleep, uh, everyone. I'll, I'll take watch. No, you go to sleep too, Abuzu. I'll wake you up second. <laughs> okay then. Um, you can, I'll, I'll take third, Abuzu. That's fine. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna actually like. Would you say that I can take Abuzu's form? Like, look like him, but changes features at all as a changeling? It's in your name, right? Yeah. Like, I, I don't have to... Um, let me... I can... It should say precisely if you can do that. Can you see. can change yourself to be of any race with the same basic assortment of limbs. Change your appearance and your voice. Determine the specifics of the change. Yeah, you, cool. You, yeah, you yeah, I'm gonna be very. I'm gonna look basically like Abuzu's like brother. Okay. So I'm gonna have like just slightly different cheekbones, slightly different angle on the eyes, maybe like a little bit shorter of a forehead because he's got a big fat forehead, um, and I'll have like a more Sigurd like chin, really chiseled. Chiseled. <laughs> chiseled. Chiseled ass Abuzu. motherfucking chin. Crow is hot. <laughs> <laughs> He's a hot, hot Vertican. Yeah, it's like oh, Vidalkin, wow. whatever. Ver Verdin. Verdin. Feminine cheekbones. He is a. He, I. Did yeah, you contour today? Like I, um, you look good. I decided, oh. you know, I shouldn't be walking around like Taliesin for a while. You know. Yeah, it's, it's a little too soon. soon. Too soon. Yeah, I. I miss him. Oh. He was able to talk shit unlike any other. Yeah. I wonder if my computer's fucking up because of the Bluetooth. Because it just disconnected the Bluetooth and it's not fucking up anymore. Oh. What'd you say? Chris? <laughs> okay, yeah, but I look like... Like an... You... Like normal you as a burden, but like uh, your brother. Your hotter brother. About, about ten minutes later, you hear a voice in your head. I'm not seeing any activity to be worried about. The storm incoming may be troublesome. There are structures to the northwest. Like meat and 
filth. Is that what you wish for, Master? Yes, actually, that's that is more than I hoped for. Um, thank you so much. I this shall continue perusing. Yeah, you know, I I I know you don't need to eat, but if you want to, go go kill some stuff, eat it, disappear when you will, do do your thing. Um, let me know if you see anything. If not, just enjoy being here, and then you'll be gone soon. As per usual. Alright. I'll bring you a present. Like a kitty. <laughs> I, I, I look around to the group and I'm like... The, the dragon thing, is, uh, that is it's really useful, guys. He's searching around, he said there's structures to the northwest. Is that maybe Drakewood? I feel like I'm asleep. Actually, so like oh, I, I just start talking. I'm pretty sure I went to I sleep. I start talking to everyone. I'm just like I just look around. And I'm just like wait. Um, I'm alone. Okay, yep. Bro, what do you know, Hunter? Do you want Mr. Watchman? Do either of you have regular ass headphones? Just this. Okay. Seventy four. Um. Seventy four. Okay. Isaac has regular headphones. I can ask him. I think it's probably fine. I'll just listen on you your computer. Can your phone yeah. through your ear, bud. What? Oh. oh, no, no, you can't unless you have another Discord. Right. Yeah. Okay. No, this is great. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, about 30 minutes later. Um, where are you sitting? So you said that we were like... We have like rocks formation. coming up, yeah. right? Like yeah, they're like almost like teepeed around us. For. Are they like teepeed around us? Um, I would say you could probably find something like you probably could have found something like that in these hills. I'm just going to be on top of one of the rocks, just sitting, legs over, looking around. Occasionally, I'll just like swivel and. You look. don't have to make a save. Um, <laughs> About ten feet in front of the campfire, from where the the overhang is, um, you see a deer carcass <laughs> hit the ground <laughs> from about fifty feet up in the air, and you hear a snit sickening snap as the bones break. I look up and I say, "Thanks." Um, I'll see you soon, and I'll just dismiss the spell. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I just imagine, like, as he's, like, flying, he just, like... Just yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then I'll just look at the deer, and I'll just be like... Do I try my hand at cooking this? Would I? Would I try it, or would I just make Sigurd do it? Smoke 17. Sure. I think that means I'm smart enough to know I should let, like, someone who's had to do this do it. That, you also have a cookbook. Oh, I do. Do I? Well, it's either. <laughs> I don't, do I? <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just, um... You're, I guess I'll just, you're like... You're welcome to go rummaging through my shit if you want. <laughs> Like, That's true, but, like, Ko isn't one to rummage through without, like, telling... I, you know, and I, I don't want to, like, go wake you up and be like, Hey, where's your buck? <laughs> so I'll just go down, <laughs> and no matter how loud I am with this, I'm going to just try and pull the deer carcass aside. <laughs> I will... Uh, it's like, uh, make me strange, Jack. Okay. <laughs> Fitting that one. <laughs> <laughs> you barely even try. It's like you're gross and all, but it's just disgusting. <laughs> so you pull, and you can't. It's also like you don't have the grip for it because it's so dishearteningly gross. So just every time you do, the blood on your hands just slips, and like, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll go to the dirt and just like. 
wash my hands, like, you know, try and, like, yeah. use the dirt to get my hands clean and ugh, go back up and wait, look around for another two hours and see what, if anything yeah. happens. It's a 10 on the die, which is a 10. <laughs> not see anything currently. Okay. Um, Two hours come, go. I will go to a boozoo and I will stand with like both my feet together to his right and I'll lean over and I'll start tapping his nose. Abuzu, um, Abuzu. Yeah, yeah. What, 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 what do you want? Hey, what's up? Um, it's time for you to watch. Um, make someone else do it. But we have food. <laughs> okay. Um, I probably wouldn't know how to cook this. Uh, I'm singing as I'm from the south. Uh, uh, which is basically just desert, right? That's There's true. rainforest down there too. Um, imagine, oh, okay. It's not. Don't imagine like Africa. Imagine like Mexico. Okay. okay. Gotcha. Um. But I don't <laughs> think there would be too many deer down there. Maybe not. Maybe more. Jaguars. Antelope. <laughs> oryx. Yeah. You know, oryx. Oryx is, would be Africa. Yeah, they're from Africa. Yeah, I said don't imagine. But Africa is a very diverse place. Like, the Republic of Congo, yeah. rainforest. Yeah, just just make sure Sigurd or Zyler do it so that, um, so that we, you know, breakfast, you know. That'd be cool. Anyway. How does it feel being the less handsome burden of the group? Uh, and I'll just like, I'll just be like, I'm gonna just use your spot. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. So, loser, roll me a D100. Alright, cool. Um, next up, roll me a perception check. 22. Yeah, 20. I'm feeling 22. As the storm approaches, so does the storm front. And the plants in your vicinity start blowing with a fervor that you find is quite abrasive. Um, the campfire starts to blow low, uh, shedding less light around you. Oh, yeah. yeah. The clouds up ahead look like they only get worse from here on out. What the fuck is this bullshit? Go 
and the 30 minutes pass, and it really starts coming down. The fire is at risk of going out. Yes. Um, however, the rain is blowing somewhat sideways. <laughs> um, see. I guess everyone would wake up automatically. Would I, though? Just kidding. Um, you guys can retreat deeper under the teepee, if you'd like possibly get some dryness there and pull together, but having been spread out close to the fire, you were at risk of getting a little bit rained on. Gross. Yeah, I'll get closer and... Mm -hmm. So nothing life threatening but a small inconvenience caused by Mother Nature. Um, the fire ends up going out, and you are left in the dark. But you're dry, for the most part. And Ibuzu's watch period ends. Who's up next? What? What do you want? But um, all right, go. All right. Fine. Okay. Oh, do you remember? Hundred cheese. I told the kid that I was DMing for last night to roll a D one hundred. He was like, I don't, I don't know what that, what that is. <laughs> He's like just two D ten, right? Fifty nine. Right, cool. Nice. Good roll. Now we need your perception check. Shit. Just hit the title. Oh man. Go with this other die instead that I threw <laughs> off of the. Also, make it a disadvantage. Oh, that's not needed, sir. Not at all. Um, perception? Yeah. Fuck. This is gonna be super. Six. <laughs> with no light from the fire and the moon completely blacked out. Hmm. It is nigh impossible to see anything farther than 10 feet in front of you. All right. <sighs> well, this is not very, not very effective. Um, all right, I'm going to cast Dancing Lights. Um, 120 feet away and they're going to stay within 20 feet of each other and I want them to like hover out 120 feet away. Remake your perception check. Alright. 18. Hey. I like when rolls like work out like that. Like I rolled really <laughs> shitty and then I did a thing <laughs> and now the roll's not <laughs> shitty. <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. Um... When you send them out as they're passing on their way to 120 feet away from you, about halfway to their max distance, behind a bush you see a, a forked, very skinny, fleshy tail get retreated, and then the bushes that it was nearby start to get pushed over as it's huh. running away. I'm just gonna like look over my shoulder and be like, Archimedes, go check it out. Fly above. 
What do you see? And he's going to go and fly over that bush and take a look at it. And then I'm going to go into my medita meditative state and look through his eyes. Okay. Um, Archimedes has advantage on dark perception checks, right? Any perception check. Okay. But he does have dark vision also. Make me a perception check with Archimedes. Perceive it all. Archimedes! <laughs> Glad I got it. Yeah, advantage. for real. <laughs> I don't know what his perception of autofire is. <laughs> Probably a ridiculous thing. Um, Probably plus four. I don't is it in the player's handbook? Uh, Can I just do that? It's, um, it's, it's, just a, it it's just an owl. Like It's just a, it's just a fucking owl. Uh, perception plus three? Yeah, plus eight. All right, cool. So, 17. Oh. Um, probably a monster. As Archimedes oh, yeah. flies over and catches up with this thing. What is Archimedes speed? 60? Slow flying. 60. 60. Um, Archimedes does catch up with the direction that this thing was running, walks onto it, and from above you just see a fleshy, large, dog like creature. Huh. Um, it's like a dog has been shaved free from all of its fur with a really long tail that trails feet behind it. Um, and it's got a series of black, yellow, and red spines hmm. poking out of its spinal column. This does not sound familiar to me at all. Spinosaurus doge? I'm just going to be like... No effect. Really, I have summoned this doggo. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Um, you did not summon the doggo. I summoned that doggo. Oh. <laughs> that doggo. <laughs> the doggo that came running all into the them, room. All of them, actually. All of them. I summoned all of the doggos in the house. For that. Um, it was super effective then. <laughs> super effective. Uh, all right. I don't know. Cool. It's a dog. Um, I just, uh, where is it headed? Is it like running away? Yeah, it is. Um, All right. It would be running towards the south. Okay, so it doesn't like the light. It's like a cockroach dog. Ooh, like a cockroach. Oh my god, is that a rust monster? Um. All right. Well, I, I I'm just gonna have Archimedes like trail it for for a minute and then come back. Okay. Um. For exactly one minute? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure, at 60 seconds he will turn around. <laughs> About a half mile into the tailing. Yeah, about a half mile into the tailing. Um, the dog sits. And out of nowhere appears a slab of meat in the dog's bed. Um, we like Archimedes, find a branch, and just chill out, and then who, like, you're an owl. Oh, shit, you're, you are an owl. Can you roll stealth for Archimedes? Yes. Oh, it's not in here. No. Oh, stealth plus three. Six. <laughs> <laughs> if it helps, he does not <laughs> provoke opportunity attacks. <laughs> this is a 22. Archimedes. Archimedes? Of course it does. <laughs> All right. Oh Aww. my god, I literally just summoned him. <laughs> he's dead. Like he, He's dead. Yeah. He has one hit point. Okay. Actually, I did not roll for his hit points. Let me roll for his hit points. If it's less than six, or less than seven. That was four. I know. Come I on. It. It's 24 minus one. It's three. <laughs> no. Oh, that's literally the most he could possibly have. You startled 
from your trance as this bolt pierces Archimedes' skin and you feel it for a moment. Oh, son of a... Up. Son of a bitch! I'm gonna say that, like, really loud. Like, fuck! Ugh! Ko is way too exhausted, so he's just like... Somebody fucking killed Archimedes, and I'm super fucking pissed. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I don't know, did I see who it was? They were invisible. All right, so some invisible bitch came up and, like, gave some random-ass, like psycho crazy looking dog who's all skinned and gross some meat out of nowhere and Archimedes was just chilling like an owl like owls do on branches and then she fucking killed him or he oh oh so like I, I sent some lights out and uh, and it ran away so I sent Archimedes to like just trail it just to keep an eye on yeah skip that Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, probably about three in the morning. You guys usually wake up at four on journeys like this. Mm. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, well. Okay. All right. So you guys didn't get a full long rest, except for Zyler. Oh, sweet! You were asleep that whole time. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um. Actually, no, you only got four hours of sleep. Son of a bit. No. It would have been six. It would have been six? Yeah. Okay. That's like a three hour I watch. I thought it was just Ko and Abuzu and then it was you. Yeah, and that was it. Oh. But I thought you did a three hour watch. No, it is. My computer is apparently the worst. It's unhappy? It's super unhappy. The task manager says that, well, OBS says I'm using 48% of my CPU. That's not much. Fifty six percent now. So much. Usually when I play video games, they use like seventy, seventy five. Wow. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I mean, now it's like it's kind of doing okay. My new computer is like so much better now. <laughs> Holy shit! Do you want to like operate our streams from now on? I one year. Uh, when I'm when I'm out, yeah. All I right. can. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd like that. I I run New World at fifteen percent of my CPU strength. It's kind See, of Smite takes a ton of mine most of the time. Mm. Smite takes like sixty percent. Smite. Smite removes my ability to use Alt F four. <laughs> Smite fucks your computer up. <laughs> I don't think you did. No. Right, Do um, I regain anything? For yes. This? Um, so for those of you that did not get a full rest, uh, three quarter apply three quarters. So three quarters of your HP, and then. Three quarters of each spell slot. It was it didn't count as a short rest, or because you didn't roll HP. You know, yeah. like it's bullshit. Like you rest. I mean, obviously the whole long rest thing. If you get a once but. per long rest thing, unfortunately that does not apply. If you only have one of your top level spell slots, that does not apply. But if you have two, you have four. So. Oh, I did that wrong. One second. Times point seven five. So would I, if I'm at twelve HP, do I regain three quarters of your max HP? You gain that much of your max HP. Okay, so I heal fifty full. We'll see how this adaptation feels. It's the first time I've used it, but I think it makes a lot of sense. I agree. <clears throat> Let's 
Welcome to Paradise Rules, where everything's homebrewed. <laughs> because and the rules don't matter. <laughs> yeah, the rules don't matter. <laughs> yep, you're up. And where are you guys going? Real quick. Three quarters. I have I have ten sorcery points. Should I don't I regain think so. seven or eight. Uh, for this, go on the lower side of things. Okay. I'll do seven there, and I'll do one of my feet-related ones. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> your feet. My feet. One of your feet. <laughs> uh, um, what did I do? I know what direction it went in. South. It went south. It went away from where we're going. Yep. Start trekking north. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Back to. The... Sorry. Excuse me. He's been getting wrecked today. <coughs> yeah, he's getting. Get this man a tissue. He's getting just completely screwed. <laughs> as soon as we got back to his house, he was just. <coughs> This is also my allergy season, mm. is it? so I'm really validated to know that you're having allergies. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's, the last couple days it's really been rough. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but you're not getting snow now where, you, where, where, you're, where you're at, right? You won't get snow? I, I don't remember where you are. North. Oh, okay. Maybe a little bit, depending on where. Can I still another one of yours? Can I take one of yours too? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I put allergy pills inside this chimichanga, so I'll be fine. Is it an all sub chimichanga? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Mm hmm. Um. <clears throat> uh, no, it's it's gone by now. It's been a minute, but I'll I can just reactivate it. Like, no problem. Yeah. 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 Yep. Bam! Four lights are just kind of circling around us. Just tell me where you want them to go, and I'll go. Are you going towards the road, or are you going into the mountains? Should I lose them in the wilderness? That's fine. So you ride your horses along the road um, about 30 minutes, no, not even that long, about 15 minutes into your <gasps> trek through the storm, mind you. Oh, fuck. Um, the sky, uh, well, it's about three, so no, yeah. About an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Around 30 probably. And then the sky starts to turn a deep red to greet the morning. <clears throat> Make a swell check. Or Who? a nature check. Who? Nature check. 
Red sky at morning. Sailor, take warning. <laughs> Nature. I got a 23. I got a 10. Nice. <laughs> Most of you passed. This is... You didn't pass. <laughs> not normal. Oh. Shades of red. This is deeper. Bloodier. Than most sunrises, free sunrises. A red dawn rises. And Blood has been spilt this night. <laughs> it seems to emanate from behind the clouds, almost turning the clouds a ink shade of black. <clears throat> Are any of you familiar with uh, with what that omen could mean? Um, it's red. Blood rain. It's like blood red for you, in case you didn't notice. Blood rain. Blood rain? It's gonna rain blood. Why would it rain blood? There's people in the clouds. We've seen them before. There are no people in the clouds. Come Mask on. is up there. He's gonna fucking... That's a different realm. Like, that doesn't count. You don't think he could be here? No. You, you don't think a... You don't think Mask could be here? No. I don't know. Correct. <laughs> the red light district in the clouds? Yeah. Sure. In the same vein, can I make a history check to see if I've heard about a history sure. of... Um, you've seen red skies before, but always more orangey, um, many, many from smoke. When a fleet goes down and you're out in the ocean, it very much turns deep red from the fires and the smoke nearby, but nothing this deep. The only thing that you're aware of that can turn a sky this deep as far as religious, religious texts and sermons go is a very powerful bloodlust Hmm. At what pace are you guys going? We're not scared of anything. We're not like... I'll, I was going to let Sigurd pick that. Yeah. Since he led us north. Moderate pace. Um, what was your history check? Nineteen. Nineteen. Kind of like, like, is, has there been anything written about this happening in the past? Like, is there history of this type of omen? Um, those who have visited the Nine Hells have written about red skies. Hmm. I mean, I don't know if there's any reason to, but could I insight check this situation? No. That wouldn't make sense at all. I don't have anything. 
I'm a useless sorcerer. <laughs> Port Cassock. Probably not. Okay. You know, travel at a quick pace, and the storm rages on throughout most of the day. And into the daytime, the sky remains red. sun is up, it is from horizon to horizon red. Wow. I look around and I'm like, this is because we didn't cook that deer, isn't it? Did you bring it? No. It's food. We could drag it with a horse. Well, we have horses. We can... I mean, you don't want me to tie a knot? I don't know how to tie a knot. How do you not know how to tie a knot? I've never tied a knot. How do you tie the things that you're wearing? It's all open. <laughs> Put that away. <laughs> Don't you remember? <laughs> I flip yeah. back to Sigurd and do the like, little dance. <laughs> and then flip back and just be like... I... Sorry, like, you know, I just... I, I can't... I can tie a normal knot, but I don't know if I... Like, I we could have just left the deer behind us. That dog is going to eat it now. Maybe that will slow him down. Oh, maybe it will. Yeah. We left it dinner. Now it's happy, right? Yeah. <laughs> you said that it was fed something. In nasty skies of red... Red skies, too. Okay. You push on for another three hours. And actually, the storm starts to wane. And over the last hour or so, slowly the skies have become less red and more normal. See, this is right about the time I would expect for that dog to have finished a whole carcass. Take about three hours, you know, I think... I, I, I think that's it, guys. That was some sort of sacred deer. We killed it, we didn't eat it. Something had to finish it. That, that's what happened. We didn't kill it. Well, we didn't, but... I mean, in some sort of weird way, I did, and I am part of us, we. I mean, you are. So, in some, like, you know, weird way, we did. Sure. I mean, I told him to eat it, to be fair. Yeah. Probably another week or so. We're about a week away. <laughs> Oh, I think I figured out what was fucking up. Yeah, so a few good hours of travel if you want. Your horses look pretty beat, but you do have a spare pair of horses. 
Yeah. Yeah. And you can force the horses on, riding them or not riding them, and see if there's any consequences with either of those options. <coughs> How long have we been at it? Um, about eight hours. So it's not even close to dark yet? No, it's in the early, uh, it's in the late afternoon stages. Let's say. No, I guess early afternoon. I can't math. I would uh, like to... Nine hours, six hours, nine, nine hours. Four. I'd like to just look back, what, what is, what does our surroundings actually like look like? Right now, is it like a thick wood. Is it just like fields? Is it what? Um, at this point in the journey, um, the hills have receded that were off to your left, and you are just left with plains off to your left, and a small forest that grows in size as you go out farther uh, to your right. Okay, so behind us, it's kind of the same. All right, and you said we're not on the road. Correct. So there's a massive plains that stretches out in front of you. Don't see a sound up ahead. It just if we're not on the road, leaving a note wouldn't make any sense. So nothing. I don't do anything. I was going to mold earth and just leave a note for an hour, but... <laughs> what, what were you going to say in your note? I was going to say, beware, Cyclops is ahead. <clears throat> that was hours ago. <laughs> they... Like, they, a long time ago. Siler, how do you know... And we killed them. They could have had families. Oh, they could have had families. Yeah, and how do you know... And we killed them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's pissed You're... off Cyclopsicles up ahead. Cyclopsicles. And you thought it was me that was going to kill Trip. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? But you already killed Trip me uh, slightly. <laughs> I don't know. Sigurd, what's your expert opinion here? Onward, knaves. Ah, uh, yes, the Viagra spell. <laughs> Roll Arcana. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for pharmaceutical. <laughs> you have spare horses and the reason they sent you with horses is because going without a weight load horses actually can quite can travel quite long distances with quite a bit more endurance being a prey animal historically they have more endurance than their predator counterparts. Okay. Is that with a rider or without? Without. 
Well, how about this? What if we hop off and we walk for a good amount with the yeah. horses so they can get rested up and then we'll see where we get to and then we can either take a full rest or we can uh, attempt to maybe keep going again when the horses are rested. I just, uh, Sigurd internally just has a very bad feeling about the red sky thing especially with everything going on it just seems like one of those signs that uh seems like one of those things in a story or game where this event happens and you're somewhere else and you're like fuck i need to be somewhere it's kind of like the internal feeling that he has i have an idea message I'm listening. <laughs> circle message. message to my favorite dragonborn Stormy. <laughs> I'm gonna just be like, "Hey, Stormy." Yes, go. Cool. I, I have to finish this statement. Um, the <laughs> cast message again. <laughs> guy is extremely red. Is this some sort of bad omen? Do you know what it means? Advice. Question mark? <laughs> Let me peer out. Actually, as he's, I do have a question. Well, like one second. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry, I gotta count my my words. Let me peer out. Oh. It's not red here. I would say you need to. Get out of wherever you are. Red is not good. I twenty five exactly. <laughs> I yell, look around and I'll be like, Stormy said, we need to get the fuck away from here. Red is not good. Well, how about how are we gonna okay. do that? <laughs> Time to bounce. Uh, if did she say how not good? She said we need to get away from here. Okay, As, then I say. We stay on the horses and we ride them until they're dry. And then we can rest. Agreed. Stormy's usually smart. I've never met met a situation that Stormy wasn't smart about. Then, yeah. Uh, Sigurd will uh, give it a good old uh, g -g giddy up. And, uh, <laughs> we'll, uh, <laughs> Giddy up, and uh, <laughs> we'll uh, start plowing through. Uh... At this point, I'm going to put us on the road. That's probably easier terrain for the horses. All right. And you put her in overdrive. And over the next put her in overdrive. Two... I shift that thing into six gear. <laughs> and over the next two, three hours, the redness in the sky recedes more. And more. Does it recede? Yeah, which way? Like, is it is it going in hue? Okay, so it's all around. The entire sky is just like kind of diminishing in that yeah. crazy color. Okay. Hmm. Um. Did you gain a little bit of elevation? This part of the journey. Um. The trees around and the bushes grow smaller and more twiggy. Is that the word I'm looking for? Wispy? Less Leggy? Thinning. Yeah, thinning, like less hardened, or not hardened, mm -hmm. less like healthy, like um, mm. great soil, great air, everything like that. It's a little bit more like high desert y. Oh, okay. It's like Drouted. But not, Drouted. Not yeah. like super dry either. It's like just the. the it's in that period gotcha. between where like conifers and you know, deciduous grow. Mm -hmm. um, okay. But yeah, your horses are now very tired at this point. Your ones that you've been riding all day. You said uh, we're on some elevation? Uh, yeah, you've been gaining elevation slowly. Okay. I will look 
for I'd like to look for a place to camp that maybe has some cover however that also maybe has a high point that I could go do some looking at with with my telescope okay um, unfortunately there's not really much around you you look around and it's just like plains it's, it's not like it's you're in mountains it's just like you're coming up on a it's almost like steps Going what's the dirt look like um dirt. it would be pretty hard and packed in pretty hard Re like yeah. okay I'll uh, look at Ko and say uh, this may be a good time for some moldy earth to uh, make us a little uh, hole encampment that we can uh, camp into. Alright. I get it. What? what? I get good it. Luck. Good luck you know we had the we had the the workhorse is working all day. Now it's time for me to work horse tonight. Yeah. I'll stare at Ko and say, I'll take the longest watch. Just dig us some cover so we're not on a plateau that's easily visible. You know what? I like shouldn't that. Have any, shouldn't have any issues. If the ground is hard enough, that means it should be able to sustain, you know, a small cave or trench for us to be in without risk of uh, it collapsing in on us. Did the last time we did this, we ran into some, like, eye tentacle. Never mind, I wasn't there for that. No, the last time we did this, we decided that there were some limits on cantrips. <laughs> that there was some what? Limits on cantrip level spells. Oh, did we? Okay. I, I would still argue, like, you know, at least something to you lay told... down and put a sleeping yeah, bag in. Yeah, you told me it would so take, like, a long right time. On the surface. I'm pretty sure, right? Because I'm still like molding the earth and taking out a certain cube. I think what I told like, you was like directly in the text. Yeah, like you like, you can do three cubic feet at, or something like that. If you target an area of loose earth, you can instantly loose inst earth instantaneously excavate it, move it along the ground, and deposit up to five feet away. This movement doesn't have enough. Yeah, force the last time you did it was with sand, and it just sort of like sloughed back yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess the way Sigurd would suggest it to Co would be uh make indents that we could put our sleeping bags in and then possibly with a tent you know an unset up tent pull if, it over to cover us or camouflage us become difficult terrain. yeah like basically I, I don't know how to describe it more than like a tiny foxhole of like where you could sleep and then you could put the tent over us like an kind of help sleeping uh, bag i would say you can make a yeah basically to oh. kind of help uh, give us some camouflage oh. in case riders or somebody came I by the, i thought the red meant that you could talk no red, uh, red's, okay. red's bad yeah. we just red learned that from bad. stormy we just learned yeah. Um, yeah that that was more of the idea sigurd had was like making a little yeah, indent yeah. to sleep in and then we could pull tents over us and whoever was on watch could camouflage it and that would I would say you know, because like you said, we're on an elevated area. In the realm of possibility. I'll make a few foxholes for us all. I'll make three. Yeah, I also, I shouldn't say fox. I shouldn't use the term foxhole. I should use the term sleeping hole, because a foxhole is a whole fucking thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so... You One cut at a time. Call it now. Um, about... Not, not I was like, um, for you guys going to sleep when the sky is still red, but less red, but your horses are exhausted. I, I think that's the best we can do. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to push the horses. I feel bad for them. Yeah. Okay, I'm just double verifying. Yeah. No, I'll, I'm willing to, uh, deal with whatever repercussions happen if we give the horses a rest. Okay. Who's first? I'll, 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 I'll go, go first. first on watch. Hmm? I will go first. And uh, Sigurd will take a three-hour watch. All right. I'll uh, go. I'll go next. Eighteen one hundred. 
Say it again. Uh, roll me a percentile. D100. D100. Forty-nine. That's perfect. Awesome. <laughs> That's a perfect you left. <laughs> Who just came in and bounced? Oh, yeah, called me. I, yeah, I accidentally called it. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So. Um. Make me a perception check. Perception check. Okay. Um. Roll on this one. Uh, 13 plus 4, uh, 17. Okay, awesome. I, I sent Co the schematics for a Moldertha uh, foxel. <laughs> yeah, it's Will, would, big. would you mind explaining to me what a parapet is, actually? Uh, later. I will, yes. So your roof is here, like this. And there's like that little bit that comes up like this. So, uh, this is the uh okay. your first two hours. Flat roof in New Mexico. Nothing much changes. Ground line. Okay. Yeah, so um, it kind of goes up a little bit. Okay. Eases yeah. into a dry sort of breeze from the outflow going by. Is it humid? I hate humidity. It is. <laughs> um, but uh, Sigger just hot. sweats cool. in his helmet. <laughs> it is like, it is kind of chilly. You've been soaked all day, oh, and okay. now the sun is down. And it kinda is. Not like those, uh, those New Mexico nights yeah. camping. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, and nothing happens, you say, first two hours. Correct. However,. At the end of your third hour, because you're so in tune with paying attention to it, you do notice the sky gets a shade or two deeper in red. Again. Yeah. Can I... I don't want to make a religion check to the sky. I'd like to pray to Sif. Sure. Um, I'll still roll religion, of course, but... Um, Oh, get fucked. <laughs> Alright, so that's a nat one. That's a three with religion. Are you actually religious? Uh, Sigurd is. <laughs> Sigurd is a religious to, yeah, his god of war. Yes, and victory. He is religious. Uh, I think Sigurd tries... I imagine if, like, Sigurd sitting and being like, what would Sif say about this? And then just kind of stares into the distance and he's like... Yes, victory, and then goes back to like <laughs> watching the horizon. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yes, red mean kill. Kill good. Good equal victory. Yes, and then stares at the horizon. <laughs> um, however, so if I notice that, who's up next for watch? You just wake someone up. Okay, it'll of course Sigurd to wake up his most his most trusted friend and will shake Zyler violently. <laughs> Is he using the motion? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about how in that? the in between of the watches we take like a three or four minute quick, siesta? Quick break? Quick body sure. break? Sure. Okay. Alright. So you back in like uh, five twenty seven or six twenty seven or seven twenty seven. 27. Cool. <laughs> 27. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh... Huh? Um, Mark well, Anthony, Anthony, your parapet basically is just going to be a little, little bit of higher, higher um, elevated, elevated ground. ground. Um, um, it, it's, it, it's just kind of, like, I think, I think Charles is explaining.